Hey y'all, so I am back with another launch hair tutorial, first impression review. Um, as you know, if you've watched my other videos, this is not sponsored. They have no clue who I am. Everything was purchased um, by me and mainly because I wanted to see if they were worth the hype and I quickly learned that they were. Sorry, gotta get comfortable. Um, so I'm just kind of like building my collection and sharing it with you guys. So I recent, recently got the Lange La Vite. This is the hairbrush straightener. So normally this isn't something that I would ever really gravitate towards, um, but I watched a few other videos and I was really intrigued. Plus, now that my hair is getting longer, I kind of like it straight. So just to give me some options and I wanted to see if this would work on my thick wavy hair. So here we go. I'm going to open it up. Again, this is a first impression. I have not used this. I take it out of the box and I never read the instructions. Pretty self-explanatory. So here we go. Ugh. All right. So this is it. It's quite heavy. I'm actually surprised by how heavy it is, but I got the pink. It's got like some rose gold accents there. And yeah, let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in and see what happens. Oh, okay. All right, it's plugged in. It's flashing that it's off. Okay. All right now, so it's got a power button here and then this is how you turn the temperature up. I'm turning it all the way up to 450. Um, I use all tools on the highest setting because of how thick my hair is obviously oh you can see it as it's going up um obviously if you have thinner hair you want to use it on a low setting but i do crank it up to the highest setting so yeah it's going up pretty quick i'm going to go and take my hair down basically the idea is this is a straightener but in a brush form because i'll be honest i do not like straightening my hair period and i'm just using the wet brush um, because it takes forever to straighten all of my hair. So I'm hoping this kind of does the trick for me. This is my hair washed and naturally dry. I actually washed it yesterday, um, and just let it air dry. So it's been slept on, no product. Also, you guys know that I like to do these reviews with no product in my hair, just kind of to know what the products themselves do without any help, basically. So, I'm gonna go and take my earrings out. It's making a noise. Oh, can you hear that? It's kind of making like a hissing sound. Oh, it's hot, okay. All right, I don't know what I expected. Okay, so this is my hair. Just, you know. Let's see what we can do. Go and section it off. I do work in sections. All right, I've got my mirror right here. If you see me, oh, the hissing just stopped. Oh no, it started again. I don't know if that's normal. Okay, so I'm just gonna brush through each section and I'm assuming you probably wanna take small sections Okay, gave a lot of lift there. Okay. Now I have seen this used on girls with really curly hair and it does the trick. I think you really kind of want to keep the hair down on that um, base of the brush. So that's why I'm kind of holding it at the bottom to make sure it stays on the brush because obviously that's kind of like your straightening element.
the trick is kind of slow and steady and making sure that hair is kind of pressed down good against that brush. that I thought I would have to go in and like brush each section first which is what I normally have to do like before I curl my hair just to make sure that it's smooth but obviously I mean I guess because this is a, is a brush you really don't have to do that step final section so far I really like it um, I can tell it's really kind of hard if you've got like I've got really shaggy layers and like some of these pieces like I can't get the ends to stay like down in the um, brush they kind of like I don't know how to explain it but because I've got such short layers mixed in with my long hair, you know, I'm kind of letting go of those short layers first, and I can't really get them to stay down in there. But, I mean, it's it's fine. But that's the only thing. It's like this section over here, I can't really get that to stay in there to do what I want it to do. This would go great hand in hand with the um, with the La Volume, you know, the blow dryer. So, like, this is what I use now if I want my hair straight. I just blow dried out straight. This would be great as like a finishing tool just to run through your hair afterwards. Um, or if you're on like second, third day hair and you normally wear your hair straight and you've got a kink in there. Um, or you just like wearing your hair straight but don't want to deal with a straightener. It gives volume. Because that's the one thing I hate about a straightener is you can't get the volume you want. So this, you can kind of go in and do that. <gasps> what do we think, y'all? I think it's another win. No clue what the back looks like, but there you go. 
all right guys don't forget to go check out my other videos about launch um products and my reviews and i hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day bye guys